Hey guys, it's Cassie. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of online shopping. Are we going to add to cart? Are we just going to add to the wish list? Is there anything even worth adding to the wish list? We are going to take a look at net a matches and browns today. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're probably going to love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? Oh, never. Guys, are you ready? Let's go. All the links to what we will look at today will be below. Kicking us off with Bottega. To be very, oh, okay, okay. I saw this and I was like, ugh, what a meh dress, you know? And then I looked into it a little closer. And you know what? Never judge a book by its cover. I like how it looks on much more than I do off, okay? Those shoes though can burn in a raging fire of hell. They are truly hideous. But I think it looks great. I love that those buttons are kind of interesting, you know, and a little bit something different. I don't know how they work, but I'm here for it. And I also like how they've styled it with these trousers. Those shoes are just the work. Like, oh my gosh, what sort of hoof is that? It does, it looks like a hoof, okay? It's not some Pan's Labyrinth looking thing. <sighs> Unpopular opinion. I hate this kind of weird block heel. I'm like, just go for a flat or go for a heel. Let's, we, we, we don't need to be living in this in between, you know? Um, so Givenchy are doing these triangle leather sandals that make me feel absolutely nothing. Let's have a quick chat about Balma and their bags and why they need to be shifting their focus elsewhere. Here's the thing, Belma is out here making bags, not cheap ones at that, let's have a look here. $3,450, approximately £2,600, right? This is made out of suede, it has crystals, it's, it's you know, a kind of box shape, it's sculptural, all, all of that. Okay, can you focus on blazers and maybe like changing them up a bit and your min mini dresses and stuff like that. We didn't need this from you. You know, like if you're gonna pay that much, honestly, like that's not that far from a Judith Lieber clutch. You know, it might be a small one, but you know, that's something of substance. She's known for her bags kind of thing. Nobody goes out here going, you know what? I'm gonna have a look at Balman today and I'm gonna have a look at a Balman bag because the track record hasn't been great. But, um, as nice as that bag is, nobody asked for you. Balenciaga printed rib knit mini dress. Balenciaga also have a way of knowing what works for them and that is just slapping their name on any which thing. <laughs> Such as this uh, ribbed mini dress, which I'm not gonna lie to you, I think is pretty cute, okay? And um, there are worse things in this world than a ribbed Balenciaga knit. Maybe with some trainers, maybe with, uh, you know, a, a strappy heel for a dinner. It's pretty cute. Okay, um, let's just talk very quickly about this 16 Arlington Manica leather shirt. I think that I just have a personal vendetta about things that are leather that have no business being leather. Okay, leather jacket, give it to me. Leather leggings, hello. Leather trousers, to a certain extent, dependent on style, I can get down with. A leather shirt? I don't need to be sweating that much. The, uh, the collar is very long and that's given me, I don't like the vibe that that is giving me there. It looks a little bit Halloween-y to me. I love the, the sleeves, but it's just in the leather, in the leather. Could we not have had this in cotton and like shorten the collar a little bit? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about, so. Um, oh, okay, Perenza Schooler double-breasted draped stretch jersey blazer. Is it a blazer dress? It's not a blazer dress, but it's quite a fabulous looking blazer. Come on, show us off. That is actually quite cute. I wouldn't in any of my lives, any versions of Cassie, I'm on Cassie version 4.0 now, by the way, we've been through a lot, but um, I would never have paired it with these sort of uh, leather Bermuda shorts. Once again, something that shouldn't be made in leather. Um, but this with a legging, I know I harp on about the leggings. If they work and they have a time and a place and this is the time and the place this with leggings because it's oh that would be killing it with some ankle boots wow so i really quite like this blazer how much are we looking at one thousand three hundred dollars thousand pounds interesting proenza give it to us oh god it gets worse N how do we pronounce this noose noose finia 
garnered leather ballet flats, gathered even leather ballet flats. You know what I'm going to say? It's the snout. Why? Ugh, it's just so unflattering. It literally looks like some like, I don't know, Victorian London, you know, little chim chimney chim chimney chew, someone or other, you know, I don't know, pitter pattering around town. That whole sentence just well done, Cassie. Brotate, here we have the Fonda double breasted crystal embellished twill mini dress. And any bets on the fact this is called Fonda because of Jane? Um, cute, chic, timeless, love it. Looking a bit short, okay? Keeping in mind that how tall is this woman, please? Size and fit. Model is 5'11", and it's barely scraping her ass. I haven't got a chance, okay? So, um, I'm gonna get arrested for public indecency if I buy this piece, but keep that in mind. Aside from that, it looks glorious. Switching gears. Let's take us over to matches. Here we go. Here we go. We have Fendi coming in with the fall winter vibes. Why? Because we are seeing wool and felt. Um, never thought I'd be so excited about felt, but I see this shopper and I think that that is so autumn winter friendly. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. I love it. A chic woman on her commute with her Fendi felt shopper bag. So autumn winter appropriate, you know? Love that. She's ready for that deposition. I think that's really cute. It's gonna keep its shape nicely. Ooh, what an autumn winter little flex there. What do we think about this coat? Yes, that coat is fine. You know, I like the FF belt, but aside from that, I'm not feeling very much. Love these tops, these little tops, these little sort of knitted um, jacquard Fendi tops with the FF. Can't go wrong, always gonna be there. Okay, this is intriguing me ever so slightly. Loewe over the knee, leather boots. The front of it is making is giving me pixie vibes, you know, like a little sort of um, woodland fairy of sorts. They're fine. Is there some level of patent? Are we seeing patent? I mean, they're fine, they're classic, they do the job. Are they something that person, okay, you've got like a patent trim around the toe and the sides there. Nice, but not my personal style. But if it's your personal style, then it looks pretty cute. Those Bottega things are haunting me. Ooh, I'm intrigued. Gucci pinstriped high-rise cotton poplin shorts. What a word, poplin. It's just like, it's so fun to say. Anyway, so these are just some cute little um, cotton, they're a lot longer than I thought they were. I thought they were like cute, like small shorts, not like booty shorts, but apparently there's a coordinating item. I can't be bothered to find it because the shorts ruined that for me. Another cape, gosh, Max Mara's just churning out. What is this? A fun, a, a foso coat. What? Very confused as to what this is trying to achieve. View video. Okay, Cecily Banson is um, one of those brands that is just like popping off at the moment. Very well known for like the baby doll dresses and all of that. And also these sandals. So as we know, this style is very in, you know, the grandpa -y, trekking looking sandal. These are hot as well, 380, not a crazy price. A Little bit of height there, a little bit of foam. They look very comfortable. They're kind of cute. Um, I think we also did them in white, but we have an all black heel, good for her. Okay, Merlet is doing a lot of these, uh, a lawn dress and a drop sleeve cotton poplin, poplin dress. Um, again, these kind of like baby doll dresses are, were very hot over the summer. You know, you do them with those kind of like trekky sandals and it's a vibe. Personally, not really my style, but definitely something that I can appreciate on others. This is very cute actually, this Athene ruched cotton lawn dress. What makes a dress a lawn dress? I've got some Googling to do. Okay, this is interesting. Gucci Logo Charm Aviator Metal Sunglasses. So they have like built-in earrings and you're not... Why is this something that I have to deal with every time I do these videos? Why aren't you gonna show me this picture on a person? How many times do I have to say it? Please, who do I need to speak to? In the development team. Okay, so basically it has this detachable like 
earrings hanging off the back. So you just like have the glasses and then there's just like dangly dangly GGs. And I think that is quite a fun little two in one. Why not? You can detach them and have them as normal, you know, like aviator, very classic style, but I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. Let's uh, take ourselves over to browns. We know that chunky boots are in, but these are like a cross between like chunky ankle boots and like, why am I getting Wellington boot vibes? You know, that's not really something I'm here for. You got like the clear sole. By the way, clear soles are in. I'm telling you, clear soles are a thing. You've got the clear tread happening in these for the new season Chanel ones. You've got this. I'm seeing a trend. This I love, okay? And this, I'm not gonna lie to you, I've been looking at. This is the Burberry Ayer Ear Icon Stripe Trim Cashmere Sweater. Can't go wrong with a cashmere sweater, okay? Apart from the moths. You are a very average moth, and how dare you have such expensive taste of the cashmere sweaters. You couldn't go for like the polyester that I got from H&M. Aside from the moths, um, cashmere in the winter, it's just everything you want. Then you have the wrist trims of the Burberry check, but it's like a vertical check. Um, and then you also have it on the neck. And I just think like just a little zhuzh, a little something, a little pop. What is happening here? Hold on. Hold on, it's worse than I even thought. So we have a cropped hoodie with a tulle skirt just attached onto the end of it, and the tulle actually looks pretty see-through. When is this appropriate? Which occasion are you going to? Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. What? However, the odds of the former state decreases dramatically when you're wearing this Victor and Rolf dress. No, I would be down permanently, because guess what? I'd be flashing my ass to every rich person. And to be honest with you, I know that that's a blessing, but it's not a blessing everyone's ready for. Oh, this is fabulous. Halpen. 1,340 tie, front. Oh my gosh. That with the matching trousers. What a look. Oh my gosh. That's fabulous. I love the colour. You know I love the colour. That is beautiful and crisp and elegant yet sexy and I live for it. Guys, let me know what you thought about the things that we saw today. I'm going to link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.